probably tastes good. Let's be real. People? Eh, I'm not a fan of sweet meats. Oh, well, that's your problem, man. Yeah. Really <laughs> you're just not cooking your humans food. right if you're coming out sweet. No, no, no. Yeah. Sweet meats is an actual classification. It includes pork. Well, yeah. I'm you not know a fan what? of pork or other sweet meats. Therefore, I would not be a fan of humans, which will All be right. classified under sweet meats due to the, like, the composition of their flesh. All right. Well, I'm just saying you're just not cooking it and preparing it right. <laughs> Yeah, this is a very interesting Again, I already don't like pork regardless of how it's prepared. Well, I'm about to fucking give you my pork if you're not fucking prepared to eat some human meat, bitch. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> fuck, that's fuck the same me. thing. <laughs> you just threatened to fuck me. What? No, I just you want you, you to gonna eat give my your... fucking meat. <laughs> and yet I'm still kind of focusing on the point Zane had. We're four chapters in and Shrek still hasn't shown up in a Shrek fan fiction. Don't this worry. Story, if this ends with her not fucking Shrek, then it's not even her <laughs> proper Shrek fan fiction. If she's trying to fuck like the pretty boy handsome humans in this, then she's just a fucking fake Shrek fan. I mean, it could be worse. <laughs> could be trying mm. to fuck Donkey. Uh, is this? Is it called um Donkey the Second and uh, Donkey the Third? Donkey remastered? No, it's called Shrek. Who gives a fuck about Donkey? That's why he's fucking the fucking dragon. I was about to say, the dragon gives a fuck about donkey. <laughs> exactly, and you know what the dragon also is? A dragon? A four-legged creature like donkey, so it's all fine. <laughs> That's how sex works. <laughs> you just have to have the same amount of legs and you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, totally why centaurs are able to fuck praying mantises. Mm, Wait, what? <laughs> mm, they both have six mm, limbs! I'm not talking about limbs, though. I'm talking about legs. Okay, they have four legs and two arms. There. All right, then. We're still fine. <laughs> this is never going Rain to be okay. <laughs> What's weird is, like, check the comments on the finale for the Star Kids one. Someone said, I'm sorry you guys had to read that. It was like, are you kidding me? One of the best yeah, things we've read in a while. That's oh, some of the most fun I've there. had in a bit. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that's I sort of thing kind of wants... <laughs> Yeah, that one kind of makes me want to revisit some of the classic ones we've done because I honestly don't feel that we did my immortal justice. Uh, okay. <laughs> you want us to reread it? What? Hey, as long as it's not my inner life. Yeah. Oh my God. Why, Zane? Why? <laughs> hey. hey, it's just a praying mantis girl. Sure, she might bite your head off after you're done, but... I... As long as we don't stress her, I don't think that'll be a problem. Good point. So as long as nobody's watching... <laughs> <laughs> so long as Jimmy Scientist ain't watching outside through the window. Jimmy Scientist? Who? <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'll show you the more... I'll show you a better one that's not green-skinned. Here. This one has eight limbs, though, so it can't fuck an actual <laughs> centaur. <laughs> Just wondering why he was so worried worried about the skin color. I because um, if it's a centaur, it's supposed to have a human hat. And last time I checked, humans aren't green. <laughs> yes, and donkeys aren't red. What's your point? Well, what? What? Are... We're talking about centaurs, not donkeys. What? <laughs> the donkeys aren't half centaur. I'm what trying is... to figure out why. Literally what I said was that, by your logic, centaurs are able to fuck praying mantises. Yes, I never but it's said not about anything the color about of them, it's about how many legs they have! I never how said many anything of their, about, of their I never said touch the ground! I never said anything about praying mantis people. Well, here's the thing, you said a praying mantis and a centaur could fuck each other. So, this is my interpretation. Since well, a that's centaur not what is half said. person, right? <laughs> That's not what was said. What was talked about was number of limbs. Nothing about humanness. I s centaurs are half human. What? <laughs> we were talking about number of limbs. Four yeah. legs, two arms. Yeah, but here's the thing. So when they fuse together, the four-legged part has combined together to create the mantis butt and the human top. <laughs> so, so, you're just looking neither... for the, so you're just looking for the abomination results. Of course. What are you expecting it to have? Oh, wait. Oh, I know exactly what you think it's going to have. Death? This is what you're looking for. This is what you want, right? 
An actual half praying mantis, half horse? Is this what you want? The Primotor? <laughs> Why are we still on this subject? Because this is fuck pain, you. and we are here, but just do nothing but suffer. <laughs> You're the one who's been keeping this going. What? What? Well, how Tom, have I been keeping Tom's this going? Tom's been silent this whole time. <laughs> I'm not talking about Tom. I'm talking about you. I was and? like, okay, that conversation's done. We can get started. And you just start sending me pictures of praying mantis women. Yeah, exactly. And then you uh. said something about being fucking red donkeys, and you only confused me more. <laughs> We're on chapter four. <laughs> I... This is one of our strongest starts. Gonna, gonna say that right now. <laughs> Send us money. <laughs> D -d don't. D <laughs> no. Don't. Anything but money. Please. <laughs> oh, Why would you do that? I will work for dice. I, I, I will work for food. <laughs> I do a lot of things for food. <laughs> Anyway, we're reading Why Fear Me, I'm Only an Elf. You could probably tell that from the title. Jesus fucking Christ. The only thing I fear is you not fucking Shrek and his big ogre dick. <laughs> you don't want to fuck Shrek. Well, are you the elf we're fearing? I don't know. Tom's yet to use any racial slurs on me. Lydic's not an elf. <laughs> fucking round ear. Anyway. I thought trolls had round ears. What? Do Tom trolls made... have elf ears and I just haven't noticed? <laughs> it depends on the artist. And <laughs> I was more making a joke about Tom's weird feelings towards elves. It's fine. Elves are just basic bitches. <laughs> yes, that's why they show up in Viking lore. Author's notes. Thank you, kitty cat girlies, for reviewing. Woot. I'm on a roll this week. I'll probably have the next chapter posted by Wednesday. Oh, in the next few chapters, I'll be rushing the story a bit. I don't want to write about every day that, until the events of Shrek 3. So, well, please, please review and have a cookie. <sighs> I awoke to the feel of the tree swaying violently. Yelping in surprise, I clung to the trunk and slowly eased myself down until I was on the ground. Now that I have a good look at the sky, I noticed ominous black storm clouds that were covering it. <coughs> For some weird reason, they seemed to be spinning. <laughs> like a tornado, I guess? I watched yeah, like a, a white peak from the clouds forward where they were spinning the fastest. <sighs> I don't remember the plot of Shrek 3. <laughs> This might be tie-in, I don't know. No, Holy Shrek, shit, Shrek I need to get inside now. If I recall, Shrek the Third was a really shitty one. Yes, <laughs> we all know that. All the sequels are bad. No, not at all. Shrek 2 yes. is a masterpiece. Shrek 2 is so bad. Shrek 3 is just the worst of them, but after the first one, they are all bad. I've only ever seen the first one, so... <laughs> <laughs> then you're not missing anything. God damn it. Fucking trolls do have elf ears, depending on the on the color of their blood. Depending on the artist. No, not even that. The color of their blood is too. Just I'm looking at all you... the Riska fan art, and she either has no ears because it's all covered in hair, or she has long pointy ears. There's no in-between. I have yet to see a single Variska with normal human-like ears. <laughs> Trolls might just be fucking space elves. Fuck! You know, with horns and insectoid features and... Yes. The ability That's to survive previous injuries. That's why I said alien. Injury. I... <laughs> you said space elves. You didn't say you anything about it. Yeah. <laughs> space implies bug. Technically speaking, depending on how you interpret Norse mythology, like Nordic mythology, elves are already space elves. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So that and just I'm elves. Pretty sure trolls are not Eldari, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> Taking off at a dead run back to the school, I saw that they had closed the drawbridge and the only way in was the high stone walls. Glancing back, I saw that the white peak was trying to touch the ground. Well then. Zane, you were right. <laughs> One of what? those tornadoes. I never thought this place gets freaking tornadoes. Mm-hmm. 
As soon as I got to the walls, I jumped up high and clung to a creeping vine, climbing as fast as I could. As soon as I reached the top of the wall, the funnel cloud touched the earth a few miles from the school. The wind really picked up, tossing my ebony hair in its fury and... Okay, yeah, that's not furry. In its fury and pelting water at my figure. Soon enough, I was thoroughly soaked. I gazed mesmerized at the swirling, destructive mass of swirling clouds. <laughs> yes, stare at the tornado. That's that's the swirling swirl. <laughs> Little tip: Do not repeat like non bait like non basic words. Typically, don't repeat those multiple times in the same paragraph, much less the same sentence. Shaking my head, I glanced down and saw that there was another series of vines creeping up the wall. They ended a lot lower than the other one, though. I would have to fall a few yards before I could get a hold on one of them. Glancing around for another way down, I saw that the wall ran close to an open window. If I ran across the wall and jumped high enough, I could either jump straight into the room or I could grab onto the windowsill and heave myself in. Yeah, you're not going to outrun a tornado that can go about 70 miles per hour at gale force winds. Well, there's a difference between a tornado moving at 70 miles per hour and the wind spinning at 70 miles per hour. True. Zane. Zane. Fuck, sorry. I'm go I've gone down the a very horrible rabbit hole. I'd rather you stop fetishizing my ears. <laughs> Quick question. How do people draw Tavros's ears? Usually like a cow. Exactly! Tavros has cow ears! Fucking Only cow according to certain fan artists. I know, but you know what they normally draw when they're not like cow ears? Human ears! <laughs> Again, depends on the artist. <laughs> Why the fuck is there no... <laughs> because God for damn, most of it, most... has drawn the worst style for ears! There's no such thing as ears in that universe! I mean, there God are a it. few. Just a sec, let me link one of the pictures because mm. panel in which ears do happen. Well, no shit, but half the time they're just fucking circle heads. But at the same time, this one wasn't drawn by Hussey, it was drawn by one of the other people that does art for the comic. God damn it. It's kind of the whole thing. There's not a lot of consistency biology-wise. Uh, quickly making my up my mind, I scrambled across the slip the slippery wall. Getting close enough to the window, I bent my legs and jumped, sailing through the air and latched onto the window seal with one hand. Quickly, <laughs> I grabbed onto my other hand and heaved my body through the opening. How high is the window? I don't know. Is she jumped in like the second story or something? I mean, she was on top of a wall that was around the building, mm -hmm. so. She probably did make a pretty impressive jump, though, just to get to the window. I mean, granted, if it was second story, then that could have easily been below the wall. Uh, oh. She force jumped. I get it. It's also elf physics. Are elves known for jumping really high? Well, according They're... to the Tolkien universe, elves are so goddamn buoyant that they can walk on top of snow without sinking into it at all, which, if you take that to its most scientific conclusion, means that elves cannot sink. Mm -hmm. Elves would float on water. Completely. Alright, but mm -hmm. how does that have to do with jumping? Well, that means that there wouldn't be a lot of weight to them, so they could just fucking launch themselves. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Very fast, graceful, and quick, but die to a stiff breeze. So what you're telling me is that elves well, would make great firefighters, because they could just jump three stories high into the burning <laughs> window to save someone. <laughs> Basically, they yeah. Finistrate themselves. <laughs> yeah. The Tolkien ones definitely were not the kind of thing that could die to a stiff breeze, partly because of the fact that Tolkien kind of had a hard-on for him. He, he absolutely hated the effeminate characterization people tend to give elves. <laughs> he was like, nah, nah, these are big dick heroes. That also can just walk on snow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, honestly, Tolkien probably would have thought that that thing that Legolas does in The Hobbit was completely plausible for an elf. Yeah. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Anyway, uh, as soon as I was inside, I turned around and shut the window, heaving a sigh of relief. I looked around the room, only to realize it was my own. Well, ain't that lucky. <laughs> How convenient. Also, 
Did you close the window? Okay, you did shut the window yet. The room is probably drenched from how you described the storm. I quickly walked over to my closet and pulled a dry uniform from off the hanger, quickly dressing into it. She's doing a lot of things quickly, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> oh, look, more in this next uh, sentence. As soon as I secured... Uh, paragraph, not sentence. As soon as I secured the last button, a frantic knocking came from outside my door. Quickly moving to get it, I saw I saw it was a very frantic-looking arty. His face immediately became calmer once he saw it was, uh, once he saw it was me. Stop repeating words in such a quick succession. We already know he's frantic from how he was frantically knocking. You don't need to mention that he's also frantically frantic looking in the like the next goddamn sentence. What do you think hangers were invented? I, 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 I don't. <laughs> God damn. Um, eighteen sixty nine. Oh, you you are googling that. I was in the yep. process of looking that up. Okay. All right, 1869, all right. Mm -hmm. I wonder what people did before <laughs> hangers, just dropped it on the floor? Draped. Draped, draped, right, but... I mean, like, when it's inside the house. Draped. On? Things. Like? Well, kind of like, you know those whole, like, folding wardrobe things they got? No. <laughs> you know, you unfold in, then you have this little privacy section in your room. Drape it over the top of that. All right, if you say or on so like well, a specially built thing in your closet, in your right, wardrobe. Those because invented back in the day. Wardrobes have existed for a very long time, <laughs> but have folding wardrobes. Folding wardrobe wasn't probably the right word. Folding screen was more what I was looking for, and yes, those have existed for a very long time. <laughs> those shits, those bitches, antique. Anyways, did you say your line, Tom? That's what yes. I started to ask you. Yes. Uh, oh. oh, gosh, Ava. Oh, gosh, Ava. I'm sorry for forgetting you outside, he rambled, making me shake my head and grin brightly. If you forget Slightly. me out here again, I'm going to murder you. <laughs> ah, no harm done. I'm only mentally scarred from having a freaking tornado try to kill me. No biggie. I state playfully with the wave of my hand. That's not... Okay. Uh, um... <laughs> He only looked away guiltily, sighing and said, Hey, it's okay. I'm alive and breathing. No harm done. Now come in. I hate having people standing outside of my door. Wait, if he forgot her outside, why, why wasn't he running outside to save her? Yeah, why did he immediately go to her door? Besides the point, this person just doesn't seem to be able to write realistic characters, because ignoring that line... <laughs> uh, there's also the fact that so far we've had like the over-the-top like descriptions of how she's discriminated against from because of her elfhood despite not seeing much of that in the world and the way it's done not really matching true to life instances of that sort of thing yeah similar to how how whenever she decides to write a character that is suffering from domestic abuse and it's in such a way that it's like someone would have been called by now i mean or your character will be dead. Yeah. I'm talking about the, with this shit where, like, she isekai her character into, like, the fucking Legend of Zelda universe. That's a thing that happened? Uh, it's a different fanfic. It was that she had a, like, self-insert character that existed in, like, quote-unquote real world and that got fucking, like, kidnapped and brought into the Legend of Zelda world. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Characters apparently just absolutely covered in bruises that would be very much visible to everyone, regardless of wardrobe. People notice. Mm. Mm. I don't think that one's online anymore, though. Wait, hold on. Probably for the best on that one. <laughs> yeah. If you had to get Isekai somewhere, where would you want to go? Space! <laughs> Middle Earth. Middle Earth. <laughs> oh god, Earth you want to go to the plate? Okay, first off, Middle Earth, according to Tolkien, is literally just past Earth. Hmm. And it's also a world in which everything is continuously getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just going to put that out there. Okay, maybe not Middle Earth. According to Tolkien, it's literally a place where everything is continuously just getting worse and worse and worse. I didn't mean like a specific thing. I just meant like a genre. Like what genre of world would you want to be in? I don't, because the whole thing of like, 
my issue with like the whole isekai thing is more just less like the whole fantasy world thing and more just how like characterization is done in that sort of thing and like how it's always oh you specifically have to save the entire world despite having absolutely no knowledge because yes i also bring in people with no experience to do housework <laughs> uh fuck okay hmm huh so are we talking genres here or are we talking like a specific world no, I mean, like, just a genre. Do you want to be in a fantasy world? Do you want to go to, like, sci-fi, like, apparently our Vladek wants to, apparently? <laughs> <laughs> sci-fi, lots of... <laughs> Specifically Star Trek-style sci-fi, so there's just, like, a lot of aliens that are just suspic uh, suspiciously similar to, <laughs> to regular people. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say either Western or fantasy. Fuck. Oh, Western's a good one! Oh. Okay, regular Western or Magic Western? Magic Western, definitely. Oh, I want to change my <laughs> idea to that. <laughs> now I'm just imagining, oh fuck, I saw it a while ago, but there's like this weird habit of like people doing like cowgirl lamias. <laughs> okay, but why though? I mean, rattlesnake uh, maybe, cowgirls? but... <laughs> yes, because we have a lamia that also knows her way around how to shoot the fuck out of you. <laughs> Wait, why Why me? I haven't done anything wrong. I want them uh, to shoot other maybe people. Maybe you were trying to steal her cattle. <laughs> no, I no. Maybe if she's I the sheriff. <laughs> nah, if I was in an isekai world, I would literally just be a bartender, and that's it. <laughs> I sell people shit. Yep, I, that's like the only wares. thing I would do. Uh, this is like the fantasy equivalent to that fucking dude from the Resident Evil games. What are you buying? <laughs> <laughs> Like genre wise, I, oh god, because there's like a lot of different genres of this kind of thing. I'm, not any that I'm particularly like, yes, I want to be there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, because every, because just the implication of isekai just means that there's something shitty going to happen at some point, right? And that you have to take care of it because apparently we're bringing in people with no fucking experience to deal with our problems. No, 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 no. Let's say it's an isekai world where you're getting the aqua treatment and like immediately after you get to the world, they just kind of forget about you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like you have no responsibility become... in the world. I mean, perfect way to become like a bartender or something like that. <laughs> I still love that fucking thing. Is the fact that it's just like, oh yeah, there's actually multiple people who have been brought to this world. It's like we're just throwing shit at the wall at this point. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, but you're aware of this, so you don't even bother trying to fight the big, big, big bad. The big bad in your world is trying to pay taxes and survive. Okay. <laughs> You're actually just like working at some place in big bad territory. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I mean, you get some shady customers, but it's honest living. <laughs> hey, as long as they pay, who cares? <sighs> some of our best paying customers actually <laughs> always keep their rooms tidy. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. It's like these undead, like these undead nightmare folk just walk into your bar, buy a drink, take a room for the night. <laughs> Why do you serve them? Why the fuck wouldn't I? They're paying. <laughs> they I tip could... very well. <laughs> very well. I could just picture the stupid anime name, name now. Just, I'm a bartender for the Demon Lord or something stupid like that. <laughs> Is this the thing I need to make? <laughs> That's on you, man. I'll make this. <clears throat> I'll fucking make this. <clears throat> uh, I don't know who's on your line. Looked, is. Uh, he looked questioning, I think, is your line. Who, me? Yeah, I think so. He looked he looked questioning, but came inside anyway. As I shut the door, the window started to rattle softly. Then shattered. <laughs> Kate, then they bless the rains down in Africa. I bless the rains. Uh, casing a worried look at the window. I dislike that phrasing. <laughs> I sat on the bed and sat and said, "Sit down, make yourself at home." He hesitated and sat down on the edge of the bed. We both set our gazes on the tornado raging outside. Just, just fucking mean mugging the tornado outside. You better <laughs> fucking stop bricking my shit, tornado. Er. Bitch, you thought? <laughs> you guys get tornadoes often? I asked softly, watching the destructive mass of clouds thin out and disappear, leaving an oddly colored sky. 
Did this tornado just touch down and then yeet itself away? Yes. That I, that sounds like a tornado, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Granted, there's <laughs> also the take... whole thing of like where exactly this place thing touched down to get enough stuff to get actually to be actually readily visible. Mm-hmm. Tornadoes are often fucking invisible. It's terrifying. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, and it doesn't take more than thirty seconds to destroy a neighborhood. Oh yeah, and it won't yeah. touch anything on the other side of the street. Just yours. Oh, fucking tornado blasted through where my where my grandmother lives. It didn't hurt her, but like all the old it? buildings that like my parents went to, and like their school and the places they went to go shopping when they were children, all gone. Was was this in Dallas or where was yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. That um my uh my aunt's neighborhood was actually one of the places that was hit and miraculously the only thing that happened to her house was a window shattered, and meanwhile the two houses next to her basically are gonna be need to be are gonna need to be torn down. Oh, that must always be that must be really awkward to be the one guy in the neighborhood to survive, you know. There are others who um who kind of survived and it's amazing because all the houses that had trees in front of them were actually shielded from the worst of it. So they are they have repairs that can be readily made, but the ones that didn't have trees, those are getting torn down. It's it's like a fucking war zone, man. It's ridiculous. Yeah. This is what you get for deforestation, people. Anyway. Now really, this is only the second one this year. Already said, turning his gaze from the window to the ceiling to the wall to the anyway. Sorry, that's my line. Breathing a sigh of relief, yes. I flopped ungraciously on my bed, making it bounce slightly. Well, this is the most interesting first day I've ever had. Hold on. Well, this is the most interesting it's first oh day God. I've ever had. <laughs> Laugh track. I stated, drawing a chuckle from Artie. I've been discriminated against. I watched you get the shit kicked out of you, and I almost died. <laughs> what a wild day. <laughs> Oh, God. I imagine, he said, lying down beside me. All of a sudden, you just hear, like, the fucking aww oh, from the, sta the studio audience. <laughs> uh, this feels I close... like fucking shit com sitcom. Holy fuck. I close my eyes, feeling exhausted from the day's events. I mean, that's kind of realistic, all things considered. Yeah. I'm tired, I mumbled. Well, I guess I should go since you're feeling tired. I'll wake you for dinner if you if you're not up by then. Set already said, standing and heading for the door at a distressingly rapid pace. Hey, I called after him, causing him to turn around. Thanks for making me feel welcome. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> he only Ow. grinned and slid out the door, closing it behind him. Carefully taking my boots and socks off, I crawled under the covers and almost immediately fell asleep. Ava! Time for feet picks. Oh, God. Gaber girl toes. <laughs> Ooh. What? Not just gamer girl toes. Toes in general. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Order now and we'll send you one free jug of Bell Bell Feeds bath water. <laughs> An entire jug? Yes. Wow. You see, I've actually been hoarding the stuff because it's going to be worth millions one day. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's minted package. <laughs> this this is getting weirder and weirder as we're going along. <laughs> this is what happens when we have to do something involving Shrek. <laughs> hey, this is not involving Shrek. Shut up. We have not seen Shrek once. Involving the Shrek universe. <laughs> the Shrek cinematic universe. <laughs> I just imagine whenever Shrek comes on screen, it's like it's like he comes out has a cheesy one-liner. Everyone cheers. <laughs> hey guys, hey guys, I'm walking ogre here. Everyone cheers. Oh, How God. about your kids out of a swamp? <laughs> <laughs> I got a real case of swamp ass. <laughs> Ava, someone called faintly, as if from far away. I groaned and turned on my side, trying to block out the sound. Is this your friend that does the fucking face rig thing? Hmm? Or is this a different thing? That's the live 2D thing, I think, or whatever it is. Okay. I don't fucking know. Just well, listen to like the first three seconds. That's all you gotta do. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Anyways, where the fuck are we? Okay, I couldn't hear that. Try to hear why. Um, <laughs> someone chuckled. That's your line, Zane. Someone chuckled and called my name again. Later this time, accompanied by a slight shaking, reluctantly I forced my eyes up and only see Artie's smirking face. Block what are you doing door. in my room? Block your fucking door. Well, no, no, she did tell him, uh, he did say he would wake her up. Although I highly doubt that most people would be okay with someone they just met standing over them while they slept. Well, what, how, how are they, do you want him to shake her awake? Kick them. <laughs> Knock the on their bed. fucking door. That's a good way to wake people up, actually. Just bang on their door a little bit. <laughs> hey, wake up. He did, and don't she didn't wake it. up. Don't lube over them. But how else are you supposed to T-pose on them for dominance? God. Oh, it said that he was... He apparently shook her awake, too. I Bad touch. It's time for dinner. He said, simply stepping back a bit. Mm, dinner. Oh, God. I glared at him and sat up, stretching my cramped limbs. Glancing out of the window, I saw that it was still raining. After pulling on my socks and boots, Artie and I traveled the familiar path of halls to the cafeteria. It was pretty much the same routine from lunch, except the server gave me a bigger bowl of salad. After Artie got his dinner, we went back up to our hallway and stopped. Oh, yeah, she's vegan, guys, remember? <laughs> I don't know why, but the way you said that, it, I swear, like, all that popped into my mind was that one dude who voices Kronk. Bigger oh. bowl of salad. <laughs> Patrick Warburton? Okay. Yes. Warburton? I will yes. take that as or... I don't know why, but that inflection, like right before you got to the word salad, just made me think of Patrick Warburton. <laughs> Pretty much Patrick the same routine for lunch, except the server gave me a bigger bowl of salad. Uh, Terrible impression. Patrick Warburton Burton. So whose yeah, room yeah, are we gonna him. eat in? I asked, glancing from my room to Artie's. Actually, we aren't allowed to eat in the rooms, but we can eat out here. Artie said, gesturing to a spot between our room. The hallway? Mm hmm. <laughs> Is that what you meant? Mm hmm. Yes. <laughs> to a spot between our rooms. Our rooms actually weren't right next to each other. We were just sat down right in front of someone else's door. <laughs> they uh, walked outside and tripped on us. <laughs> they smacked us with the door because it opened outwards. <laughs> Wham! <laughs> I, I shrugged and sat. Depends. What door did you come through? Uh, I shrugged and sat down in that spot, already plopping down beside me. I'm just imagining him going fully limp and hitting the floor. Just <laughs> ragdoll. <laughs> <laughs> As we began eating, I said, hey, I'll give you my mutton if you give me your salad. Give me your fucking salad. I will consume salad. Salad? Give me salad! <laughs> Consume salad. And meanwhile, Artie just inhales a fucking mutton chop. <laughs> we must Bone control. and all. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he swallows all. <laughs> Shit, boy, what that mouth do? We must construct additional salads. <laughs> <laughs> must grow more mutton. He glanced down at his salad for a brief second before handing the bowl to me. I happily gave him the leg of meat and eagerly dug into one of the salads. About half an hour. Uh, about a after about half, after about a half and hour, <laughs> <sighs> I see. <laughs> Only good English here, boys. This is again. They've been like just doing that whole repetitive shit too. Yeah. We picked up our trays and dumped them into the trash can. Uh, excuse me. It's Ben. Well, I guess I'll see you tomorrow, Artie stated, stopping outside of his room. And then I never saw him again. He died later that night. Oh, no. Also because I ate him. I also went around sleepwalking, but I'm pretty sure it's unrelated. <laughs> hmm. Not sure where all the blood on me came from. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I was ready. <laughs> it was stupid and I hated it. Good. 
Is it my line? <laughs> yes, it's your line. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, no, going to bed already? Well, I guess you had a long day. See ya in the morning. I stated with a smile rocking across the hall to my room. Night, Ava. I heard from behind me. Smiling faintly, I called over my shoulder. Night, Artie. As I turned my head, it smacked into his. It's right over my shoulder. As I wandered into my room, I sat down at my desk and pulled open the top drawer. There I found sheets of parchment, parchment and several notebooks. I took one of the nicer notebooks out and turned to the first page. Chapter 52. Th well, the, the swordswoman, or woman, needs to keep on top of her calligraphy, I thought out loud as I slid an inkwell and quill towards me. That is one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. <laughs> ah, yes, I must hone my writing swords in order to be a better... I must hone my writing skills so I can become a better swordsman, because the pen is mightier than the sword. Because, you know, tits. After, uh, after I unstopped... I don't know. I, I, it's fucking stupid either way. After I unstopped the ink, I dipped my quill into the black liquid and began writing. I wrote about my past before I turned the page and wrote about today. After I wrote about everything I could think of, I closed the ink in the book and stashed it in the empty bottom drawer. Tur excuse me. Turning my head towards the clock Bless on the wall, I was... What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought you said something. Okay. He said, bless you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Turning my head towards the clock on the wall, I was shocked that it was nearly 10 o'clock already. I sighed and undressed, leaving me in my undergarments, then slowly crawled under the covers again. After one glance out of the window at the cloudy black sky, I let my head drop onto the pillow and closed my eyes to let sleep wash over me. I accidentally fell asleep uh, face down and suffocated throughout the night. I mean, I sleep on my stomach. Mm-hmm. But like, no, 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 I stomach just face say, down in the pillow. I was going to say she because she let the sleep wash over her. Ah, okay. Yeah, that works too. <laughs> Chapter 5. Uh, give me a second. Someone asked me a really dumb question. Are you going to give them a really dumb answer? I'm just no, wondering. so, that person who asked about the spoilers for Iceborne, right? Mm -hmm. When I told him I was I, I, I got spoiled and I didn't want to, do you know what he just asked? Oh, mm. God. What'd you get spoiled on? <laughs> In the public chat where someone else literally just said they didn't want to get spoiled. So I asked them, why would I talk about spoilers when someone just said they didn't want them? <laughs> Why'd you get spoiled on that? I mean, you can actually mark what you type as a spoiler. I, I'm very aware, but I know all of my <laughs> idiot friends like to click on those. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure you only remember one of the things I mentioned anyway. <laughs> oh, that, that's actually true. <laughs> I got Only spoiled. Thing. I don't remember what I got spoiled on, but I know I got spoiled. Long story short, more Palumu is good. <laughs> uh, fuck. I just spoiled somebody else. Shit! Let's see. We're on chapter five now and still no Shrek. I was gonna say, is are it... you meaning in the, in the, like, episode itself? Because I'm pretty sure most people know. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, am I reading the author's note? Yes. Author's note, I'm sorry I'm posting this chapter so late. I caught up in reading a freaking epic Alice in Wonderland fic and studying for my summer school final tomorrow. Thank you again, Kitty Cat Girly X, for reviewing. But seriously, please, please, please leave a quick review. It only takes less than five minutes of time. So why not leave a quick word of praise or a word of advice? Just a mere suggestion, my faithful readers. The next chapter... The story will be rushed a bit. I don't want to write about every day of Avis life, but enough of my rambling. Damn you, Mad Hatter, onto the story. This oh, your... God. Oh, wait. Uh, okay, 2010, 2010. Was the Tim Burton Alice in Wonderland movie up by then? Oh, this was made in 2016? No, no, no. This was published in 2010. It was last updated in 2016. Oh, gosh. It was a 2010 film, yes. Ah, oh, fuck no. Ah, no, it's the Johnny Depp Mad Hatter. I see no problems with this. <laughs> I see all of the problems with this. Huh, it only got three stars. Interesting. Are you surprised? It's a bad movie. 
oh, there are worse movies. Yes, but at the same time, it's not something that anyone should ever want to go back to. It's the worst kind of bad. Boring. How do you make Alice in Wonderland boring? Fucking ask Tim Burton. He managed it. My internal, uh, my internal alarm went off an hour before dawn, like it always had. I couldn't stop the beeping because I couldn't find my snooze button. My eyes snapped open and I sat up, stretching my tired limbs. As I swung my legs over the side of the bed, I noticed the clouds had cleared up from yesterday. I stood up, got dressed in that horrid uniform, and did my morning routines. Now I'm just trying to remember if there was actually any sort of uniform in Shrek 3rd in the school. <laughs> Rec three school. Um, they have school colors, I think maybe. I don't fucking. No, the dresses are all the same. Uh, as is what the guys are wearing. So yeah, there is a uniform. Does Shrek wear the uniform? Do I get to see dashing Shrek in a uniform? Jesus Christ! No. He's just wearing his Shrek clothes. <laughs> He's just his Shrek. <laughs> yeah. Don't type in Shrek uniform. <laughs> I I wasn't planning on it. Afterwards, I pulled out my suitcase and took my sword out. <laughs> Carefully closing the lid to keep my bow in good condition, unsheathing it and tossing the scabbard to the side, I ran my hand up the length of the blade, savoring the feel of the cool metal sliding under my skin. What? Yep. It was good I to have my blade in hand again. Sorry. As I got to a battle stance, I started to imagine I was in a clear field with enemies surrounding me, dodging and weaving all the while I struck them down one by one. Five bucks, she slaps something in her room, or she <laughs> slaps Artie with it. Oh, <laughs> stabs Artie on accident. Also, that's what she would be wearing. Apparently. Better than what she's already wearing, that's for sure. <laughs> You mean a hoodie? <laughs> yes. Early in a hoodie, I look I am offended. Anyway. I remained in my fantasy until a knock broke me out from that world. Jesus fucking Christ, why? Uh, because you gotta have your immersion broke somehow. Why? Ava, it's time to get up. Breakfast is in 20 minutes. Sardi's voice wafted from outside the door. I'll come back in 10 minutes. I... Oh, God, I... I mm. After that, I heard him shuffling away from my door to his room. I glanced in the mirror at my disheveled appearance, so I put my sword away, then went to clean up again. Oh, God, we're gonna have a school stabbing on our hands. Already returned right after I had put uh, right after I had put my boots on. You ready to go? He asked as I picked up my packed bag and swung it over my shoulder. Do you think Shrek says Yari Yari and uh, the Japanese version of Shrek? Uh, Probably not. <laughs> Aww. Only if he says something along the lines of good grief. In the the love of well, he says for the love of Pete a few times, so... Oh. I nodded and we went out the door into the cafeteria. There were already a few students eating at the tables. The few students that were eating glanced up and gave Artie a look, look of dislike. I my eyes slightly and grabbed a tray standing behind Artie. The cook plopped some eggs, bacon, and a few blueberry muffins on my tray. They would be the first to die. <laughs> <laughs> Grinning a bit, I snatched the muffins off of Artie's tray. Fucking thief. As he turned to find a spot to sit, he glared at me playfully and took my bacon and eggs. It's not like he took the plate they were on. He just grabbed them with his hands. <laughs> I noticed a few students watching us. Some of them were looking at me like I was crazy. I merely shrugged them off and already out of the cafeteria. We went back to our hallway and sat down to eat. I hate how elves are always discriminated against. It's weird how everybody's staring at me like this. I wonder why they're doing that. I say as I glare back at them. As I'm also playing around with the over-the-top, unpopular kid stereotype. <laughs> It's almost like this is a perfect storm for you to be glared at. <laughs> so, what classes do you have today, he asked, taking a bite of his bacon. Oh, God, I just thought of an analogy that was really bad, but... 
It's like the one black kid in the school wondering why everyone gives him funny looks in Kentucky. Anyway. It's your line, Lydic. Yes, I know. Where the fuck is it? I don't know. I'm not on that page. <laughs> really wish I could highlight in here so I could at least remember when I look away. Yeah, what the fuck did you just say, Zane? What the fuck did I just say? Yes. I said, what classes do we have today? Okay. I grabbed my bag and rifled through it before uh, pulling out the sheet of parchment. Let's see. I have magical studies, history, and home economics after lunch. Mondays I have Monday I have girls PE alchemy then choir I stated looking my schedule over. I'm not the only one that finds it kind of weird that this school has home ec, right? I I wasn't expecting it to be sure. <laughs> I need to actually go back and look at what the academy that Shrek went to was to see if home ec would be a viable option. God damn. <laughs> because if this is like if this is like training for like royalty, which I think it might have been then yes, home ec might be kind of weird because you just have your servants do that. Uh, home, uh, Wor uh Worcestershire Academy from the ShrekFed.com wiki. Right. Uh, despite being a fairy tale school, it features parts of modern educational institutions uh, with an Arthurian legend twist. It is run by Principal Pinchley. Uh, known students, uh, area slash rooms, the gym, the cafeteria, area cut from the final film, <laughs> entrance courtyard, locker, cloister, jousting arena. That's the other thing that raises a question for me is the fact that it's the separate, like the, the gender uh, phys ed. Yeah, that was kind of weird. I mean... No, oh, God, Guinevere of Galerius, the Queen Bee of Worcestershire, <laughs> Arthur's love interest. She is the prettiest, most popular girl in school, the possible girlfriend of Lance, Lancelot slash Lance. There's nothing mentioned of any classes, but... It's a high school. Yeah. Last I checked, most Western high schools don't have it separated. And most Western high schools do have, you know, home ec. Good point. That's precise point. Why the fuck? I, this is a fantasy world. Why is there a... Oh, God. I hate the fucking carts in the back that are just really shitty buses. Oh, my fucking God. Anyway, it's your line. He smiled. And, uh, yeah. No. No. As we I got smirked. up, I asked... Uh, I smirked. No. What? I Did smirked and folded up no. my schedule. What? The no. one before that. One hey, before that. <laughs> you have the hist have history and alchemy with me? Already exclaimed, leaning over to see for himself. I smirked and folded up the schedule and took a bite of one of his muffins. Soon enough, we were done with our breakfast. As we got up, I asked, Hey, Artie, can you tell me where my first class is? He smiled and said, Fuck no. Sure, follow me. <laughs> I did, and we made our way down the halls, picking out little landmarks on the way. <laughs> and here's Jader to Pete. We don't talk about him much. Soon enough, we stood outside of the door of, uh, of a door with magical studies on it. Well, I'll see you later. I'll pick you up after classes so we can go to history together, he replied with a wave. You've known each other for one day. What is with this mute cute? <laughs> I grinned nervously and waved a bit before entering the classroom. <clears throat> In the room, there are a lot of bright colors and peace signs painted all over the walls. <laughs> Along with the mismatched desk containing a few students sitting at the desk, at the very front of the room was an old guy with a long white beard and circle glasses wearing a deep blue robe, which the matching wizards had. Oh my god, it's fucking Merlin. It's my boy Merlin. Wasn't he not a part of the school? I don't fucking know. I don't want to remember. I don't care. Care. I walked up to him and asked, sir, where do I sit? He looked up at me and asked, what's your name, miss? 
After fidgeting nervously, I replied, Ava Thelicia, sir. Where the fuck did the S come from? I don't know. Th- th- <laughs> I I just... <laughs> There's no Shrek, so I'm just not interested in this story. <laughs> so I'm going to be completely honest with I'm saying that my brain to... is, like, not completely in with this right now, so I just said something. I'm a tune out until I see Shrek's dick. Exactly. <laughs> Thali- Th- Thalia. Thalmor. She's a fucking Thalmor. That's what, that's what I'm calling her now. Thalmor. <laughs> the damn elves. Exactly. They're not even good elves. They're mean elves. He looked at a pe- over a piece of parchment and pointed at a desk at the back of the room. Oh, Miss Th- or Miss Ava, I'm Professor Merlin. The old man Professor Merlin called after me as I walked back to my seat. Okay. I yes, we we gathered that he was Professor Merlin. This is what you get for having a name that doesn't make sense phonetically. Like, it's not even a whole thing. Like, language is a different. I mean, fuck, names of different languages tend to have a flow to them. To where yes, that does make sense. His name, Thalela, doesn't. Thalela sounds like Thalela hurts my tongue. Well, it's an elven name. That's probably why. Yes, but even then, an elven name would still likely sound like a fucking name. Like I just said, names in other languages still tend to sound like names. The only time that shit doesn't happen is fucking Lovecraft fiction. Waiting on you to read, Thomas. I already read. Did you? Yes. Fucking got him. <laughs> Waiting on Zane, then. As I sat down, I noticed a few shoots that were staring at me. Well, this entire time, her fly's just been down. <laughs> on her dress? Yes. <laughs> just the back's completely open. <laughs> the truth is triggered by a picture. Is it that picture? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, God. The hell are you looking at? I snapped, glaring at them. They immediately turned around and stared at the various sheets of parchment in front of them. After a few minutes, more students came in and took seats around me. The bell rang a few seconds after the last person was seated. I didn't jump or cover my ears. I just sat there. It was extremely painful to listen to the booming rings, but I didn't want to seem weak. (laughs) That was another issue I had. That was another issue I have, letting other people see my weaknesses. After being attacked for being what I am for so long, I've learned not to let anyone see any of my weaknesses, as they might use them against me. (laughs) I I just can just picture this little elf going, what are you looking at? And then everyone just, like, keeps staring, just, you. (laughs) That's the whole thing of, like, we've been told that there's discrimination against elves, but at the same time earlier, it's like, why the fuck are they staring at me? <laughs> what are you looking at? You, you have pointed ears. Is that a condition? <laughs> oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> you got some pretty long ears, homie. You need to see a doctor? Are they inflamed? <laughs> After that, the rest of the class went fairly well, considering that the classroom nearly got bl- nearly got blown up. Because of one of the students' carelessness when using magic, I learned quite a few things in there, including what not to do when using magic. Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! It was actually really funny to see a spell explode in a guy's face after he said the wrong incantation. The dreaded bell rang to dismiss us, and most of the students rushed out almost immediately. Oh my god, did she just steal a fucking gag from the Harry Potter movies? Probably. What? You know, like when they're learning when Guardian Leviosa and the one kid just fucking detonates the feather. I haven't read Harry Potter, so I wouldn't know. It's not a part of the books. It's in the movies. I haven't it's really the watched first the movies movie. in a while. You know what the first? You know what the last time I watched that first fucking movie was? When it fucking came out. There's literally a running joke throughout all of the movies of that kid accidentally blowing shit up while trying to cast spells. <laughs> I literally just never pay attention to Harry Potter It culminates Potter movies. with him blowing up a bridge in the last movie. Yeah, but he meant to do that one. <laughs> yeah, I said intentionally. <laughs> But yeah, like in each of the movies, he fucks up a spell and blows something up. I think That's they just weird. literally stole a... I think she literally just stole a joke from the first Harry Potter movie. I think a lot of this is just jokes, though. I'm pretty sure when magic involves, lots of people get blown up. This is literally I... the equivalent of the other stereotype of the kid blowing himself up in chemistry. 
Yes. Basically. That was what that joke basically was in the Harry Potter movies. So it's not even stealing from the Harry Potter movies. It's She's stealing an even to, bigger one. It's from specific, a, yes, but it's specifically blown up because of the fact that he said the spell wrong. All right, That's but is there I'm, a wing involved? I don't know what fucking spells they were learning, but I'm just saying that this feels almost exactly like this is what that joke is supposed to be. All right. <laughs> don't you fucking start with me, boy. Don't start what? You know what? <laughs> I really don't. What am I starting? <laughs> Me. <laughs> what? Don't get light started, Zane. <laughs> don't get me started. <laughs> you get me started, boy. <laughs> when Arnie came to pick me up, the day was pretty. After Arnie came to pick me up, the day was pretty boring. The most boring subject was history, but I absolutely hated Homac. Hey, history is interesting if you have a good teacher. It's it was just interesting in general. <laughs> it was an all-girl class, and we all we really did was learn how to properly do everything. Folding linens, walking, eating, cooking, talking. It was all bullshit. Let's put it this way. I'm probably going to skip every class from this point on. The class isn't necessary to graduate from this place. Then why are you taking it? Because, because it's on our schedule. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, because it's on her set schedule and based on what they said, sexism. Um, but it's not required that... <laughs> the school makes no sense. Welcome to the American education system. I just hope Monday's classes are more interesting since today is Friday. Ah, pass me some <laughs> fucking lasagna, man. Before I'm dinner... Sorry, John. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jim. Oh fuck! I really wish I could do uh, uh, Lorenzo Music's voice. I'm sorry, John. You should have given me my lasagna. That, that's no, that's not fucking. Oh god. Uh no, that's that's more Peter Griffin. Fuck, because it's also it's the fucking. Uh, Holy shit, I forgot his name. I literally just recently saw him get shot to death in Zombieland. Uh, Bill Murray? Bill Murray. It's basically the Bill Murray voice, because that's what Lorenzo Music did for both that and, uh, like, Vinkman's character in uh, the real Ghostbusters cartoon. And then after that, Bill Murray voiced Garfield in the live-action Garfield movie. Hmm. So it's kind of an interesting little crossover between the two. But I can't do Lorenzo Music's voice because, like, the thing that makes me laugh is just imagining all that I'm sorry, John Art. But all the words, instead of being, the, like, all the lines, instead of being this scary demon voice, it's Lorenzo Music's voice. <laughs> and so just, like, big hulking monstrosities and then they speak like the fucking animated version of Garfield. <laughs> just completely calm and monotone. <laughs> <laughs> like, this isn't really something they care about. <laughs> That's just... <laughs> Where's my That's lasagna, funny. John? So, since I keep getting distracted, I've been reading something about a Canadian going to each state, and when I read Texas, there's some pretty interesting things in there. That doesn't surprise me. Um, things to do in Texas include lifting your truck and never leaving the pavement, exercising Castle Doctor, and by spooking the postman with your AR-15. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Warming up a glass of Dr. Pepper, losing your home to a hurricane, chasing tumbleweeds, yeeing, hawing, and other assorted cowboyisms. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> uh, I've stayed in this state for, all, for about 20 years, I can guarantee, yes, that is the truth. They got themselves a beef industry to prosper because the Spaniards sucked at colonization and left their pets behind. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, <laughs> I mean, we're talking about a state whose main point of pride is something that they immediately failed at. <laughs> He goes into a lot about how Texas pretty much just begged to be a next until America was like, all right, I guess. Well, it's not even that. It's literally that they, oh, yeah, they begged to be an annexed from uh, Mexico. Yeah. But, like, literally, like, if you look at the history of Texas as a country, they immediately went to the crippling debt. Well, that's probably what happens when you get into a war. <laughs> no, no, they weren't in a war at that point. 
All right, fuck. It was actually, they immediately went All into right. crippling debt and had to have the U.S. bail them out. <laughs> I need to get an update on my Texas sister. I haven't looked because at Because literally every time Texas got a new new president, they completely changed what the currency was. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> There's a reason why everyone, like, whenever people, like, do that whole, like, Texas pride shit, I just, like, you're kidding, right? <laughs> Whose fucking line is it? I think it's yours. Is it? Um, yeah, yeah, I think, think I said mine. Oh, I wait, thought, I was I in the process because of the fact that you brought up the I'm sorry, John. Oh. Before dinner, Artie and I got to know each other more. I hate how you did each other. <laughs> I really hope that Artie gets replaced by Shrek soon. <laughs> it's all ogre now. Well, this story better be ogre soon if there's no Shrek. This is my swamp now. We just walked around outside and talked about whatever. So how are your classes today? Artie asked casually as we passed by our favorite tree and sat down under its shade. You know, the one that she almost died on. <laughs> <laughs> I have um, good memories about this tree. <laughs> ah, yes. The tree that's me, brought me closer to death. Maybe if I stand under it more, that chance will rise. Wow, that was dark. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> Um, fuck, I moved my mouse and I lost the place. Fuck, f fuck fanfiction.net and fuck their inability to let me even fucking highlight or like have something on the side so I'd be like, ah, oh, yes, this is where I am. I think you can highlight on mobile, but... Ugh, I shrugged and stated, pretty much boring. I hope Monday's classes are even more interesting. Lasagna! <laughs> this is a high school. You have the same classes every day. Or uh, an alternating on... schedule of every other day. Yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, not entirely sure how the fuck this school works. Or what schools this person's been going to. Just like that one quote-unquote college from Sonic EXE, the remake. Oh god, or the fucking high school from Bloody Painter. <laughs> Granted, she had an excuse. She's Taiwanese. Yeah. So she wouldn't know how an American... I think it was actually a public school. <laughs> Oh, yes. Yes, it was. It's like a fucking American public school and it had dorms. <laughs> yeah. Again, she had an excuse. She's Taiwanese. Fuck China. Um, Taiwan's its own country. Fuck you, China. <laughs> Liberate oh, Hong boy. Kong. <laughs> I can't wait until we get banned in China. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you got yourself banned in China, you're doing good. <laughs> if you got yourself banned in China, you need to try harder. Get banned in other places too. Well, no, no, no. The whole thing is that China is a fucking totalitarian dictatorship that has been like basically has the corporations bending over backwards for them because of how much money they're making. So anything that isn't pro China in movies tends to get removed. And because of the huge firewall in China, certain like content creators are getting banned in China. Simply yeah, they're for getting fuck China. <laughs> yeah, for saying fuck China because of the whole thing of the protest going on in Hong Kong, Tom. This is what the whole Blizzard controversy was about. I know. I was. Being dumb. Tom, I get where you're going from and I appreciate it, but China was not the one to go for, for that for that kind of statement. Yeah. Yeah. If you're I... talking about the local Chuck E. Cheese, and by all means, you're getting <laughs> that, dude. Yeah, or, I, or North Korea. I, they ban yeah, everything. Yeah, I kinda realized right after I said it that I was like, eh, I might not have been in the best in the best. Just use your yeah. time powers and make you make you just not say that. <laughs> I I haven't unlocked those yet, dude. Yes, the session hasn't started for you two. Oh, <laughs> the apocalypse oh, hasn't come yet. Don't worry, Tom. Once you reach God tier, um, I'll help you get it. Don't worry. I'll be the one to do it. Um. Okay. <laughs> I'm being. Oh, hang on. This uh, <laughs> This kind of pertains to me. Hang on. I'm gonna leave this picture in chat. <laughs> uh, there we go. <laughs> Uh, what is your picture? Take uh, control of your life. Learn how to not suck. Yeah, yeah that, I'm, that I'm applies. Trying. Fucking light is it? <laughs> uh, Indiana Shreku versus Chin Chin? What the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> uh, Zane, did you read your line or... Fuck I if think, I remember. I think that line alone gave me a stroke. Mm -hmm. What uh, fucking light are we on? Uh, wait, you, did you read the normal? Yes, Monday's I read Mondays. Then? Okay. 
He nodded sympathetically and said, "Yeah, normally B days are pretty boring, but the A, but A, uh, the A days are always more interesting than B days." Holy shit! I just had a flashback to like junior high and intermediate school A days and B days. I forgot that was a thing. Good lord! <laughs> I only ever had A days. I never had an alternating schedule. Yeah, I cannot shit. relate to any of this. Donkey's going into the inward temple. He's gonna get oh, the God. inward. Pa- He's gonna get his inward pass. A sudden thought crossed my mind. Hey, do you know if there are any more elf students going here? I asked before I could stop myself. Yeah, one named Shrek. I, <laughs> I hate to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Shush, nobody tell him. He looked startled at the sudden question, but shook his head. Elves ain't heard of that about them in years. As far as I know, you're the only elf student going, going here. Already stated. Slightly disappointed, I nodded slowly and turned my gaze to the grass. The bell rang for dinner after a few m- moments. Already helped me up off the grass and led me to the cafeteria to get my meal. After we both got our meals, we headed for our hallway to talk some more. Lasagna! And then next chapter, right? Chapter 6. Are we gonna right, which you chapter? also have to start... <laughs> That's fine. Uh, I'm going to do something. I'm going to skip ahead and see how many chapters it takes before Shrek's mentioned. Oh, God. Um, do y'all want to know how many chapters it is? Sure. Yes. Chapter 8 is when we start hearing about Shrek. <laughs> That's like the... <laughs> the, ch- the whole thing is, 16, is 18 chapters, so nearly halfway in is when <laughs> we first hear of Shrek. I... We first hear about Shrek. <laughs> Maybe Shrek's gonna solve racism. Baby Shrek, do do do. Oh God, no! <laughs> All right, yeah. Sorry. Anyways, are we still reading? Yes. yes. Author's note: Thank you, Quiddy Quag, Girly Girly, and Platinum Gal for reviewing. I've noticed that her um thank yous are for rather feminine names. I wonder if she's ignoring the men. Or it might just because of the, <laughs> be because of the fact that. Fanfiction.net has a much higher female user base than male. All right, but to say, are you telling me men aren't into Shrek fanfiction? <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is the most <laughs> manliest spread in all of Fanfiction.net. <laughs> say, because I highly <laughs> doubt it's a. Thing. Well, this character is a bit of a tragic for Ava, but. Well, this chapter is a bit tragic for Ava, but it needs to pass. This chapter explains the hostility of Mr. Johnson has towards Ava in Chapter 1. Please review and revive me after I read this, because holy fuck, I hate this. And have a cookie. Oh my god, is this... Is is she the reason why it's not Mr. Johnson as the principal, but instead it's, like, Pentius or whatever his name is? Possibly. Ah, oh man, she about to end this man's whole career. It- or she's going to murder him. <laughs> About to end this man's whole career. <laughs> All the other kids just a pumped, pumped up, up kicks. kicks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Faster than my sword. <laughs> Faster, Faster than my sword. <laughs> Does she have a bow or is it only her sword? She has uh, a bow. I believe she has sword. both. Then, yeah. All right. So Every- she's going to use her bow to launch her sword at people. <laughs> yes. <laughs> A weapon to rival Metal Gear. <laughs> a weapon to... <laughs> every really day for that day, I hate how you did every day. It was almost the same routine, except for weekends. I got up, did my morning routine, practiced with my sword for about an hour, got clean, uh, getting cleaned up again, walking to breakfast with Artie, and on weekdays, go to classes. <laughs> My friendship with Artie grew steadily during the following months. Eventually, we became best friends, someone we can tell almost anything to. The only thing we didn't talk I about was... Hid a... some... I once killed someone and hid their body in the janitor's closet. <laughs> the only thing we didn't talk about was our pasts, which was perfectly fine with me. I often had to rescue him from getting beat up and picked on. As a result, I started to teach him basic swords, fighting skills, and moves. I oh always God, tell... he's going to start murdering people. I always tell him it's like dancing, which in essence it is. He picked up a oh, few shit, things. Is this the lesson? Oh, God, no. I, I, I... 
Oh, fuck. I was going to make a joke about Onision's writing career. <laughs> he picked up a few things after a few months of hard work and him getting his ass kicked over and over again. <laughs> Is this the part where we're talking about Monster Hunter again? You say combat's like a dance and I respond with, fuck you, I'm jumping on the monster. <laughs> no, I, I think it was more the whole thing of I, I just like fighting the monsters up close and personal, man. Yeah, personally, <laughs> as in I'm on top of them and they can't fly away. As a heavy bowgun user, I I like to um I like to stick to range. <laughs> nah, man, get up close and personal, man. Stop running away like a bitch. Okay, yeah, fine. I... Switching to spread ammo. I was talking to the monster. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> get back here, you coward! <laughs> I mean, that's basically what happened whenever that like cool Laku nearly killed that bear off. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you run away from me! It's the cool, it's the Baros like limping away, and the cool Laku is chasing after him with a rock. Get back here! I ain't finished with you. <laughs> it's still one of my favorite moments. Mm -hmm. If you're tired of monsters running away, flash pod them, and then flash pod them again, and then flash pod them. There is no escape, only flash pod. Or after just, a few, or it's the thrill of a chase. <laughs> you're gonna say something, Tom? I said, or just shoot them. <laughs> yeah, with a flash pod in their face or in front yeah, of shoot it, the, preferably. Shoot the flash pod, um, improve your marksmanship, and blind the monster. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I could probably do really good with a bow on, with because I'm on PC. <laughs> <laughs> it's just doing it on the keyboard and mouse. The controls are so weird. I tried it once and I fucking hated it. Mm-hmm. After a few months on an A day, people started looking at me weird again, like they did f for the first few weeks. There were a lot of whispers when I was around. A lot of people glared at me hatefully, even though I didn't do anything to them at all. Hell, yeah, I weird. even got attacked by a few people that for no reason whatsoever. You're just going to casually get attacked by people? I stayed up in my room for most of the days after classes. Yeah, weird. It's almost as if you're the only minority in this place. After a while, Artie came in and asked, Do you want me to bring you something to eat? And possibly something to eat? Just then, my stomach grumbled its protest. I know oh. he said, I'll be right back. Also, with the whole thing of her teaching him how to fight, my immediate thought was in like, all of Onision's books where he's saying that his mom taught him how to kill people. Oh, yeah, because Onision's just the mega Chad, am I right? Uh, yes, because when I think Chad, I think some middle, like, some dude in his 30s who picks up teenagers. <laughs> Until recently, I had no idea who he is or was. He had mentioned it before, but I literally had better things to care about than him, so. I mean, if you want other horrible things I could bring up, there's always Daddy-O child abuse. I mean, Daddy-O 5. He only got taken off YouTube once the once like Child Protective Services got involved. <laughs> Despite the fact that his videos were literally just him abusing his children and calling it pranks. Fucking line are we on? Ah uh, yes. He was back after five minutes with a few muffins and a platter of salad. That was fast, I stated jokingly, taking the food from him and taking a bite out of the out of a muffin. I stole it from someone. <laughs> Zane. Sorry, sorry. It's just I got distracted again. How were you distracted uh, by this time? Okay, so because I have ad block on and I'm a horrible person, I'm, I'm, I, just, I wanted to look at what Onision's most recent video was on his current fake mental breakdown. Yeah. Um, just, it's just more of the same bullshit, you know? Is it, is it him begging for his Patreon back? Um, no, he's complaining about the fact that since he, his Patreon's gone, he has to sell his Mac Pro, and he just got a paper <laughs> called, uh... Hold on. Oh, God. Hold on. Something called a circuit cord or whatever? It's like, hold on. Like it's like a, it's a weird petition thing. It's and he only flashes for a second. Hold on. 
Wait, is he making a petition? Petition for simplified dis- dissolution of marriage. I have no idea what that me- means, but, you know. I mean, I doubt he's going to break up with his current. Unless there's still some divorce issues going on with some of his previous wives. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on. Oh, God. But nope, it looks like someone's trying to divorce him or something, but, you know, I haven't watched the whole oh. thing because I keep getting distracted by what yeah. we're actually doing. Currently, he's only, I could have swore, currently he's only married to Kai. And I'd be kind of surprised if they suddenly broke up, considering the fact that Kai's currently also his only source of revenue. Because <laughs> Kai's Kai... Patreon hasn't been taken down. Yeah, but maybe Kai initiated the breakup, but I don't know. I don't know, given the whole thing, the guy's fully drank the Kool-Aid. Yeah, but let's just... I'll see how it goes, but... Kai also I... started grooming people. Uh, okay, but, uh, alright. <laughs> I don't know, maybe Kai I've, is... I've only people. watched, like, the first 20 seconds of this video, because you want me to read, but I can't read, because I keep fucking up. What the fuck is my line? Uh, I offered... Back? I offered a muffin to him, but he shook his head, stating, no thank you, I'm not hungry. Shrugging, I ate the food pretty quickly. I told Artie why I locked myself in the Glancing at the clock, I saw it was close for, uh, it was close for curfew. You better go to bed, Artie, we don't want to get detentions again, I stated with a smile. Again? That would have been worth bringing up. We gotta go to bed, Arter. We don't want to get detentions again. I stated with a smile. I just said that. said that. He Fuck. already said that. Wait, so wait, are they... Were they having this, by the way? In her room? Yes, yes they sir. are in his They're room. They're breaking the rules they said in the last chapter! Oh yeah, eating in a room. Shrugging, I ate it, the food pretty quickly. I already told Artie why I locked myself in my room, glancing at the clock I saw it was close to for care of you. This, uh, he grinned. That's yeah, you... Line. Yeah, you start with he grinned. He grinned back at me and stood up saying goodnight, Ava. Smiling, I watched him exit. Then walked over to my desk and took out my diary. I opened to a blank page. Wasn't the next page, it was just a blank one. And wrote what happened today and the questions that were bouncing around in my mind. In my head. Why were they all so hostile all of a sudden? As I put my things away, I kept thinking about a whispered comment... I'd he- uh, I'd heard earlier that day. I'm glad there's only one elf left. Again, you've already clarified that people in this universe are racist against elves. I think at this point, it's kind of late to be surprised. It was that glitch. It- <laughs> I glitch good. It was that bitch Guinevere. <laughs> It co- <laughs> is what that bitch going of here coded. Of course, you specifically make sure that it was Arthur's love interest. <laughs> the girl already was madly in love over. He was getting rejected every other week. That's a bit concerning. And because of that bitch, he has a very low self-esteem. He's also being a creep. It hurts to see him beating himself up because he can't get a date with the girl of his dreams. Chad Thundercock here. Don't ask someone out multiple times in the same month, less, much less every week. It's unhealthy and just makes you come off as desperate and, un- and, un- and unstable. Just a bit of a forward, forewarning. Ugh, fuck. Uh, I may have a ru- uh, I may have a rough, very rough exterior, but to the people who are dear to me, I'm very loyal and protective of them. Anyway, I undressed and went to bed. <laughs> Perhaps I could get answers tomorrow. The day started out normally. Yeah, like I, I don't think that should be something that anyone needs to be told. Persistence is not charming. Put that out there. Alright, so... God. 
just finished the video. It looks like he might be getting divorced or something because it talks about. I don't know how how long were they the two together? Uh, a couple years. Because right, he's uh, mentioned cause... seven years. Seven. Uh, oh, fuck. Now I gotta look up how long Kai and Onision have been together. Uh... General. I'm pretty sure it's just um, fake, though. Uh, really. they got they got married in November of 2011. So that'd be eight years. Yeah. Uh, ignore it. Oh God, there's an Anisi on fandom page. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Um. Do you know what I hate about all these videos, though? Onision. Whenever he does his like fra fake breakdown videos or whatever, and he starts crying a bunch, he does like a fake barf noise. It's just so weird. <laughs> like, does he not know how people cry or when they're upset or mad, or does he think dude. people just barf when they're sad? I mean, the dude's the dude is like a fucking sociopath. He does. He stated that he doesn't understand other people's emotions. Ugh. All right. Let's. Ugh. Like. Let's just weird I mean hell you look at his fucking writing and he won't stop calling people humans as if he's trying to distance himself from everyone <laughs> this is coming from the little real alien your line uh, I dress uh I dressed, practiced in eight before magical studies. Professor Merlin retired after his nervous breakdown in class a few weeks ago. Oh my god, what the fuck? Are you still... It was a detention from him. I forgot what he did, though. Now our teacher is a complete bitch. Damn, <laughs> even Professor Akar seems to hate me now. Well, that's fine with me. I've hated him since he came. I just doodled on my assignment all class until the bell rang. Jesus Christ, I am getting Ebony Darkness Raven Dementia Wave vibes from her. Just with better grammar. Barely. Yeah. I At know. least with I Am Mortal, it was hilarious how the fuck it got. There's a reason people love that fanfic. <sighs> it's not often you get the line, Avada uh, Kedabra, uh, Harry yelled, pointing his womb. It's a beautiful line, only comes once in a lifetime. Oh yeah, that's right, my line. <laughs> History for once was interesting today and gave me the answers I was looking for. I took my normal seat with, beside Artie and took out a piece of parchment. As Professor Cato took roll, uh, a few minutes later, uh, he paused at my name with a troubled expression. Ava, I'd heard ru I've heard <laughs> rumors about you being an elf. Is that true? He rasped, gazing at me with watery hazel eyes. I don't know. Look at my fucking ears, bitch. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> like, what the actual fuck? <laughs> heard rumors about you being one of these elves, are you? I heard rumors about you being one of these elves. Is that true? <laughs> Just looking, ears pointing out. <laughs> are you? <laughs> Gee, I wonder. Yes, Professor, the rumors are true. I replied with a confused tone. Everyone knew I was an elf. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? His expression was starting to make me nervous. His eyebrows furrowed, but he continued with the lesson. Turn to page 864 in your history books, Professor Cato instructed, turning to the chalkboard to write something on it. Sighing, I turned my book to that page and was surprised to see the section was about elves. <laughs> now read the entire section and answer the questions at the end, Cato's voice rasped. I glanced down at the first paragraph and started reading. This is the most unprofessional shit I've ever heard of. <laughs> For real? The elf species has been around for approximately 6,000 years. <laughs> Oh, newly evolved, I guess. <laughs> they hail from the thick, unnamed forests that dot around the Earth. This particular subspecies of elves were, no were called forest elves. 
There are only two subspecies of elves, the forest elves and the Christmas elves. <laughs> the forest elves differ greatly from the Christmas elves. The forest elves were commonly taller than their colder counterparts. They are known for their feline-like appearance. Meow. Meow. <laughs> A uh, fiery temper and unusual eye colors, and their love of nature. The forest elves were great magic wielders and were more athletic than any human e could ever dream of. Commonly, they were more flexible, can run, uh, can run faster than a galloping horse, quicker Ground reflexes and movements. <laughs> quicker reflexes and movements. They could oh. jump to impossible heights. They were great archers and swordsmen. And were fierce warriors. Unfortunately, their talents were their downfall. <laughs> the human race were jealous and envious of elves of the elves' success. King Talbot ordered the destruction of the elf race. He post. I would have expected that I'd been Lord Farquaad. He was just upset they were taller than him. <laughs> <laughs> he posted rewards of money for certain amount for a certain amount of elf heads per citizen. One elf had a reward of 100 gold. <laughs> oh, this would be the part where she's just like, wait, I'm I not mean, a Christmas elf? <laughs> I mean, usually whatever you hear about a genocide, genocide done by Americans in, a, in an American textbook, it's like, we killed Native Americans. <laughs> and then just completely glosses over it. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's old news. Everyone knows that. <laughs> this is the complete other side of the spectrum, just going into, like, ridiculous detail, like the writers getting off on it. <laughs> Here, right in the... <laughs> Here, right where you're sitting down, in this book you're reading, we shall describe where you are currently sitting, the, the Native American tribe that currently live where the school was just recently built, was housed of a certain tribe and we shall tell you about how the tribe died from each individual from who killed them on the american side to which native americans died at what age when and how it'd be like if a native american i mean oh, fuck it'd be like if a spanish textbook went into like fair like great detail about like the stuff the spanic the ways the spanish inquisition killed people yeah. <laughs> and here we have the rack <laughs> It was this method where they would tie someone up upside down and begin sawing them in half from groin to head so that their blood would flow to their head, their brain and keep them alive longer. Queen... Yikes. <laughs> that was an actual thing. Queen Mariera... Uh, uh, Myera of the elves declared war on King Talbot's kingdom. Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> the resulting war lasted for a decade but uh, before... Queen Mer uh, Maya Arrow, Maya forces fell, and with it, the elf race was doomed. <clears throat> it was a few years later that the entire elf race went extinct, tracked and killed by by the most skilled warriors and hunters. The elves were still are still hated and envied to this day. <laughs> there is no record of there is uh, no recorded records. <laughs> That there are any surviving members of noble race that was once elves, the Christmas elves. I mean, like, okay, if they died so easily, then were they really like so much stronger than what well, they're you talking see, there's here, a or was it just propaganda? A better, there's a difference between being a better warrior and a whole bunch of people with cannons and fire. Hmm. Unless you're fucking monk, that shit ain't gonna help when someone launches a fucking cannonball at you. True enough, but we're... Yeah, they're a better warrior, but they also live in, wo in the woods. You know what are those they... are susceptible to? <laughs> Fire. <Okay>. Fire. <laughs> <sighs> I shut my book and held my head in my hands. Everything makes sense now, does it? Does it really? It's from the hatred out. and coldness from before, I could remember to the attacks and whispers now. Like I... <laughs> They're still hated. You mentioned, first chapter, that elves are very much persecuted. How did you suddenly forget this? I'm still really confused. Why do they hate them? Because they're better. <laughs> it's not even like actual real-world races in which it's just a systemic issue brought, up, brought about because of the fact that they're different. It's just... 
Yeah, we're going to create racism, but we're going to make it to where they're actually given a reason for the racism instead of, yeah, they're different than me, and I don't like that. Because, <laughs> like, real-world racism, 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 it's literally just brought about by, that person's a different shade than me. <laughs> or that person doesn't celebrate what I celebrate. <laughs> that guy's not pasty. <laughs> Like I am. Therefore, he's evil. God doesn't like people that aren't pasty white. Didn't you know? God thinks that all people are pasty white. <laughs> but, you know, but it's literally like, though, the driving force behind real world racism. It's not, ever, there's no ever justification behind it. People make up justifications for it, but those people are typically racist. <laughs> Didn't you know that Jesus was white? That's uh, yes. why he was born in the Middle East. <laughs> I mean, technically speaking, Middle Eastern and Nor North African people would fall under the classification of Caucasian. But they're usually considered distinct from quote-unquote white. And that's ignoring the fact that in real life, ra like races don't actually exist. It's just a different color. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's literally just... Where you were born or like... Well, like where, yeah, yeah it's like the whole to the equator. Yeah. It's like the whole thing of if Sumerian tigers started like talking mad shit on Siberian tigers <laughs> because they're not from the same place. I don't like those Siberians and how they're slightly paler and bigger. Just like my ex. <laughs> uh, is your ex also my sleep paralysis demon? <laughs> Probably. She don't talk much, does she? <laughs> just no. kind of stands menacingly. <laughs> it's kind of why I had to break up with her. I couldn't really connect, you know? <laughs> there was no communication. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck has my voice been doing throughout all of this? It's been fluctuating, and we've nearly been going for two hours, so... <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, fuck. Is it time to speedrun this chapter? But seriously, how can you forget that people are racist ag against you? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you talk against the majority of, like, Hispanic and black people in Texas, and they will not have forgotten that. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw Artie pass a slip of parchment onto my desk. I reached for it and read what was written on it. You okay? Okay, boomer. I shook my head and gathered my things, getting up and exiting the room. Normally, Professor Cato doesn't allow students to leave his classroom, but I guess he felt bad for me. <laughs> what a way to learn about your race. Why did you... <laughs> Again, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> After I was halfway to the front doors, the entire truth hit me. I was the last of the elves. Oops. <laughs> How do you forget that? <laughs> you be a big stupid head. She fell it on It would have head. had to have happened within the last, like, 20 years then. If that suit, like, last ten. Then these must be fairly recent books, then. Exactly! <laughs> God damn, these people hate elves for the most stupid reason. <laughs> Dude, all discrimination is fucking stupid. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, just, I'm talking about the story, I'm not trying to get, you know... I'm not uh, trying to hit us with the hot takes on real life, dude. <laughs> the hot takes on real life, by which we mean the fucking obvious. Yeah. Discrimination's dumb. Man, that's a hot take. <laughs> is it my life? <laughs> Whose uh, line is I think, it? I think it's... I, no, you just said the last of the elves thing. It's my line. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just was like... I, mean, I think that's only really a hot take if you're from PragerU. <laughs> Anyway, my head started to shake as I ran full tilt towards the exit. Bursting out of the wooden doors, I fled towards the open drawbridge and up my favorite, up our favorite tree. I dropped my things by the base of the tree and gazed, gazed at the rolling hills of green, letting a tear roll down my face for every slain elf. I flooded the courtyard. <laughs> I heard the creaking of branches as someone climbed up onto them sometime later. Hello, Artie. I whispered, not moving from my perch. He's, he took his seat on the branch beside mine and quietly asked quietly, Are you okay? You never answered me before. 
I knew he was trying to help, but anger flared up and roared loud, loudly like an angered dragon inside of my chest. Oh no, she's going to turn into a dragon later. Call Why it did in. you feel the need to put the word anger twice there? Mm -hmm. Ah, Calling it now, she's going to turn into a dragon later. Just, just saying that. <laughs> oh god, she marries Donkey. <laughs> <laughs> Donkey's actually a level 20 bard. What the hell do you think? I just found out my race was slaughtered like fucking pigs by the race I was raised with. I just found out that I, Ava Thalmor, am the last of the elf race, and you expect me to be okay with it? I screamed at him, gripping the wood of my branch like it was my lifeline. <laughs> it just stayed quiet, but I saw pa the pain and fear flash across his face. I ranted and screamed my sorrow, grief, and pain out before succumbing to tears. Just screaming at his face, no actual words, just screaming directly at him. Tentatively, Artie reached out and wrapped his arms around me, letting me cry to his cheest. After a while, I pulled away and wiped my eyes. Oh god, I fucking... My tears are poisonous. You're gonna <laughs> die, Artie. <laughs> I hate this fucking trope, it's terrible from both sides. What trope? Just crying? No, no, the whole thing of, like, a relationship born out of just, like, fucking trauma. Oh, but I thought they were getting along well before. Yeah, but it was also... It's also I guess he was getting was, bullied. Yeah. But it's one of those things that's always so fucking stupid, because whenever it's the guys writing it, it's, like, the whole thing of... Of, like, I'm gonna use the fact that she's been in horrific trauma in order to get a relationship. When it's girls writing it, it's like, he showed me basic human decency. I guess he's the one. Basic, basic human decency is hard to come by, man. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of shit that gets you put up on r slash nice guys, my dude. I showed you basic kindness. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> well, none of these people have the door open for you. Why ain't you sucking my dick? You, you anyway. Okay there, <laughs> no. I happen to read a Shrek fan fiction. And Shrek hasn't even shown up yet. We're not even gonna see Trek Shrek today, and it's been two fucking hours. Shrek hasn't torn open my asshole yet. This, this is the worst Shrek fan fiction I've ever read, and it's the only one I've read. Thank you for doing the bare minimum, I whispered, flushing a bit for his, uh, for my display of weak... God damn it. He smiled confidently and whispered, No problem, you fucking wuss. No problemo. <laughs> I know your weakness now. <laughs> <laughs> your weakness is racism. <laughs> <laughs> oh, darn, my one re weakness. Oh, fuck, I just racism. knocked my headphones out of my ears. We sat in the tree until the bell rang for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Did you read that? Okay. Well, it all makes sense now. <laughs> you already knew you were discriminated against. How the fuck did you forget that? I am not going to let that go. That is fucking stupid. How the fuck you forget people are racist against you? Ember Lydic, you're the one who chose this one. I yeah. wasn't expecting this. <laughs> I wasn't uh, expecting uh, this level of stupid. My immortal shit, didn't have man. this level of stupid. Her character was discriminated against throughout the entire thing for being gothic, and she did not forget it once. <laughs> she had consistency, damn it. Are you becoming a My Immortal apologist now? <laughs> okay, My Immortal is a fucking gem. My Immortal is like the fucking room. It is one of those things that you do not forget because it is it's fucking amazing and how bad it is. I forgot it already. You forget everything. Oof. Who are you again? Exactly. <laughs> I wanted to argue against that, but I forgot your name. <laughs> I whispered, making Artie shift slightly on his branch. I felt his boner. Oh, nope, that was just his leg sticking out. Or the leg sticking out of his bone. He fell out of the tree. Bone around. What uh, does? Bone. He asked quiet, quietly. He attacks and hatreds towards me once people found out what I was. How the fuck you forget people racist against you? I thought this chapter was like, supposed to play in the intense hatred the, you know, yeah, principle I thought had it was for supposed, her. I suppose I thought it was supposed to like get into that shit, but no, it's just like somehow I forgot. 
all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. It, it falls upon me then to come up with the lore about why he hates it with what we've been given. He's a war veteran. <laughs> there. Well, That's yeah, lore dead. done. It's stated in their fucking history book. People are still racist against elves, even though they're all fucking dead. Exactly. He's probably the one out there slaying them. Was had to fight them all the time, so he probably hates them the most. Ah, oh, fuck. Now I'm just flashing back to something I saw that made me really sad. Maybe elves fucked his wife. <laughs> oh, God. He's the kind of person that would make up all sorts of shit about how they tricked her into it. <laughs> Turns out his wife was just cheating on him. <laughs> wife did it completely of her own volition. It turns out it was a loveless marriage. <laughs> Whose fucking light is it? I think it's yours. Or it might be Zane's. I don't remember. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, no. yeah, it's mine. Already stayed silent for a bit before saying, but I didn't attack you. <laughs> Yes, and I'm very thankful for that. You're only the second person that hasn't done anything to make me feel unwelcome. I was turning my head and giving him a small, grateful grin. I'm going to use the fact that I wasn't outwardly racist against you to try and get you to fuck me. <laughs> Maybe that's why he wasn't racist, because he wants to fuck elves. Exactly. He's that kind of person. He's like that fucking neckbeard with the Asian fetish. <laughs> <laughs> he returned and asked, do you want me to bring you something from the cafeteria? What do you call the equivalent of yellow fever, but it's elves? Jesus fucking Christ! Probably something to do with pointy ears. I was gonna say, it probably has something to do with ears. <laughs> I got a thing for ears! Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, okay. Uh, I shook my head and stated, No, I'll come with you. He looked a bit concerned, but helped me down from the tree. As we walked together to the cafeteria, I was aware of the sniggers and whispers around me. That only fueled my temper, but I tried to keep it in check. As Artie and I arrived at the cafeteria, the entire room got silent. Yeah, I'm part of L-E-L-A, Long Ear Lovers Anonymous. Did you just come up with that, or is that a thing? I just came up with that. Okay, I That's was going to say, <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if there was like a group of people online with fucking elf fetishes. Oh, oh! I bet, I bet, I bet someone said this before me, but I haven't looked anything up to come up with that. Considering uh, you, what happens almost every time you have a guy decide to play a female elf in D and D. I was gonna say, do you mean the majority of the D and D community? <laughs> Despite the fact that I have plans at some point to do a drow elf dominatrix, but that's besides the point. I'm not fetishizing the character, just myself. <laughs> yeah, so that's wait, right, okay. folks. I'm actually a dominant. <laughs> So when people play, when so when men play female elves, they do what exactly? There's this whole thing of like, oftentimes whenever you have like a male, uh, like a dude playing like a female elf, uh, in like D and D or Pathfinder or whatever, they actually turns out that they have like some weird fetish for elves and shit like that. And there are there are of course exe uh, like uh, exemptions from that. Like recently, I found like a green text story about like a guy who played a. Uh, like, dude, like, looked like your stereotypical neckbeard, but played a trans, uh, trans female elf, and actually did it, like, well, like, oh, shit, this is actually, like, straight up just, yeah, holy shit. <laughs> but, so, wait, Ruru is technically an elf, does that mean that I have a fetish for headless people? Ruru is not an elf, she's a, she's a doulahan, she's a there's doulahan. a big difference. <laughs> big difference, one of them's Irish, one of them's Norse, but... <laughs> One of them also is insanely greedy. <laughs> yeah, but also it's the whole thing of you haven't been making it weird fetishistic. Not at all. Unless like you that's, consider gold a fetish. Like, that's the whole thing of, like, whenever you have that dude and he's like, I'm going to play a female elf who loves cock. <laughs> I'm going to no. try and seduce everyone. I'm going to specifically mention my tits <laughs> all the fucking time. <laughs> Ooh, now I just want to make a, an elf character with huge tits that I only mentioned once during the first intro campaign, <laughs> and then everything out that about that is literally just her lighting things on fire. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like that's the whole thing. You've yet to bring up Ruru's tits. I've only I've only mentioned Ruru being naked once, and that was just to rub it into the fact that the only person in the party who would want to see Ruru naked isn't there to see it. Yeah, yeah. Sazerac only wants to see her naked if money's involved. <laughs> 
Exactly. <laughs> I don't do this shit for free. <laughs> <laughs> Except with Sit Lolly, but that's because she saved my life multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, and technically speaking, so is the cleric. It's a good thing that the cleric doesn't seem interested in that. <laughs> <laughs> that party dynamic was weird with Sit Lolly there. <laughs> Our party dynamic overall is just weird. <laughs> well, yeah, the moment she disappeared is when the shit with Kresnik started. <laughs> <laughs> And, he, and the guy playing him might show up for the holiday special. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. I still need a roll for that butter fairy. <laughs> I still need to write down the backstory for my tiefling. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Talking about the whole fetishistic stuff and I'm playing a female tiefling for that. <laughs> oh, fuck. I just realized I might be that person who just plays assholes in D&D. You might. You might. I mean, you haven't been over the top assholes. It hasn't <clears> been like going actively against the party. No, I don't go actively against the party. It's just I do really stupid things sometimes. Like last session where I literally rob people in the middle. <laughs> These people yeah. lost their homes. They're all marching to a song. And I'm just like, gee, time to rob. Well, previously, again, you, yeah, you stole was... health potions from them whenever they were reconstructing their town. Yep, I just realized, though, that uh, thief thing, though, was uh, left to a wisdom roll that I think I crit failed, too. I yeah. think it was in that one, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, I believe it no is. Way I could talk about doing that. Yeah. Uh, also, Zane's line still. <laughs> well, no shit. Yeah. Where is it? Where's my line? Hey, Ava. Hey, Ava. How does it feel to be the last of the tree huggers? Oh my God! I could see that happening when the hippies started to die, and by die I don't mean physically. I just mean like the culture started to like you know lose its run. <laughs> just how does it feel to be the last of the tree huggers? You damn hippie. That is a Lance. terrible. That is a terrible slur for elves. Lancelot called mockingly from one of the tables. Don't get me wrong. There are some stupid fucking racial slurs out there, but that oh god, that is lazy. The fucking stereotype with like knife ears is like better than that. Step up your fucking game, Lancelot. If you're gonna insult someone, do it right. At that moment, I saw red. It was Lancelot's blood. He was dead at my feet. I blacked out for a moment. Oh, God. Before, before Artie could stop me, I dropped my tray and stalked up to Lancelot. Get your sword and meet me in the field in ten minutes. I snarled. Let's see who's the better fighter. All right, we're going to leave it there. Uh, What's a bigger power move? Not showing up or showing up? I thought she was going to smack him. I, I honestly thought it would have been better if she just straight up smacked him with her tray. Just Freebird starts playing and she starts fighting the entire school. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's where we're going to end this. Uh, special thank you to Destiny Baird. Uh, if you would like to get a shout out either on screen, which is going to be edited in, possibly, uh, you should be looking at that now, or vocally, you can donate to our Patreon. Link is mm -hmm. in the description. You better fucking give it. You better fucking edit it in there, buddy. Don't be fucking lazy. That's a Patreon. You gotta be nice. Yeah. You have guess. obligations now. People are paying you. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> and that was also the whole thing of like, oh, fuck. You just subscribed to your Patreon. A patron. And this stuff, like, our stuff is recorded a week ahead of time. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to, like, record a thing tomorrow or, like, later tonight to staple on to the back of next, of, like, next week's episodes <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i guess destiny uh destiny if you heard if if you're listening to this right now you now know <laughs> that yeah <laughs> yeah dude thanks for throwing money at us that's like really cool yeah <laughs> lie. <laughs> Look, me behind the park tonight and i'll give you the rest of your reward mm. oh god <laughs> <laughs> hey, you like this girl that <laughs> uh, the end of this episode yeah, we now have an excuse to actually do an outro. That's interesting. <laughs>